John Tate. I'm a graduating senior from Holy Rosary High School in Lloydminster. And I wrote a short rondo in F major. Um, the goal of the piece was to just kind of create something that was light and fun. And uh, I hope it comes across that way. Uh, hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Catherine Fakely, and the piece that I wrote for this composition symposium is called One Last Chance. One Last Chance is a story about someone who had made mistakes in the past, and as a result of those mistakes, they lost someone who's very special to them. And they didn't realize it at the time, but this person had had a tremendous impact on their life. So here they are, several years later, asking this person for another chance. And during this song, you'll get to hear the perspective of both people. I had a fantastic time at this composition symposium, and I'm so grateful to all the teachers for providing such an incredible experience. I really hope that you enjoy this piece. Sitting at my window, where did all the time go? It feels like yesterday when you walked me home. Oh, I, I didn't know that you had saved me. So I said goodbye and you didn't ask why. Assumptions were made, there were tears on my face. If I could have one last chance. I'd never let you go One last chance Cause now I finally know One last chance I'll wait for your answer I see you at your window where did all the time go? It feels like yesterday When you walked me home I wish I didn't know That you were going to leave me But you said goodbye And I didn't ask why Our final embrace With tears on your face One last chance you go one last chance cause now I finally know one last chance I'd hold you forever my love a stranger, a stranger just had destroyed me but when I saw you standing there I thought it must be serendipity Why else would you have appeared? A stranger's 
gesture destroyed me But when I saw you standing there I thought it must be serendipity Why else would you have a My name is Ricardo Martins and for me it was amazing to be part of this Strata Festival and um, the tune I composed, actually I put the name Strata Bossa. Um, I'm from Brazil and I believe that Bossa Nova is in my blood so I tried to compose something that would remind me or remember, make me remember my hometown.
Hi, I'm Brett Graham, a Saskatoon drummer, vibraphonist, and percussionist. For the symposium, I worked on two pieces for Jazz Ensemble with Chad Lindsley. Deadbolt is an upbeat tune with a straight eighth feel. For this song, I was working on a repeated rhythmic figure and altering this groove to fit into alternate time signatures. I wanted to use rhythms to create tension. A Chance Encounter, on the other hand, is a slower, more introspective ballad. For this, I was working on writing in brighter keys and adding more rich tonal colors and contrasts. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the festival.
Hi there, my name is Samuel Dimiturko, and the piece that I present to you today is entitled Reminiscence. The reason I entitled my piece Reminiscence is because I wanted to portray the image of somebody walking through the countryside, recollecting and reminiscing about their significant other. The way I went about doing this is I stated a simple melody, and by taking little fragments of that melody and applying them to different harmonies and styles, I bring in and out of focus the memories this person had of their significant other. And then I state the melody in its pure form again at the end, which brings everyone back to reality and we go back to our everyday lives. I had a wonderful experience being a part of the symposium. I loved working with my colleagues and clinicians on all of our pieces. And I hope you all enjoy my piece, Reminiscence. <laughs>
it's Grace Poop on the Boat, and the name of my song is I Know A Lot Of People. I wrote this song because I know a lot of people right now who are just struggling with their mental health and just want them to know that things aren't really as dark as they seem. Uh, one thing I tried to accomplish with this piece is just to finish it because <laughs> I don't really finish a lot of my pieces, so the symposium was a really great motivator for that. strong things aren't as dark as they seem and so we keep pressing on and on and on until we reach victory and I know a lot of people who feel the way that I do we hide and pretend like we're not at our end and we're drowning in our sin and I to be strong but I don't understand because the whole world is falling apart but I'm supposed to smile so I smile and smile but inside I'm falling apart and I know a lot of people who feel the way that I do we hide and pretend like we're not at our end we're drowning Just need a light, someone who will see Things aren't as great as they seem I don't understand that it hurts I don't understand that I'm hurt Every day a new tear, every day a new battle For me to fight Hi, uh, my name is James Kummerin, and I was fortunate enough to study jazz composition under um, John McCaslin. Uh, it was a great week, we learned a lot, and uh, my piece is heavily based off of a famous piece by Bill Evans called Emily. And so as a tribute to the influence I took it from, the piece is called Emilia. I hope you enjoy.
Hi, my name is Kai Gabri. The piece I've composed during this symposium is titled Bossa Sketch, and as that title implied, it is played in a bossa nova style. I've written the piece in an AABA form. In the A section, the tenor saxophone and trumpet are playing the melody, while the trombone part is written as a response, so it repeats what the other two horns are playing shortly after. And in the B section, the three horns come together to play a shared melody. At the very end of the piece, I have written a three-part harmony, which serves as an outro. I've always enjoyed listening to bossa nova music, and that is what inspired me to write this composition in a bossa nova style. Through this piece, I've learned how to make great chord choices which complement the melody. I hope you enjoy my piece. Thank you. My name is Graham Dick. The title of my composition is Blue Algae, and with this piece I was working on writing ahead and expanding it into a full arrangement, focusing in particular on the form of the arrangement. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi there. My name is Sean Vereshagin, and I'm the composer of Wind Quintet No. 1. My goal for this piece was to write a wind quintet in a sort of a classical form. So I used sonata form and used lots of motivic development to keep interest and develop the piece further. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
My name is Ricardo Martins and the tune I composed for the Strata Festival uh, is called Strata Funk and that was a little bit of a challenge for me because uh, the harmony and how to uh, construct the melody and try to find the spicy notes it's still something that I uh, it wasn't part of my background and this festival helped me a lot to uh, try to find a way to to write something and um, I'm very glad for this festival. So that's the tune called Strata Funk. <laughs> 